Morning guys, uh, I'm down here at Lake Jindabyne with my mate Jared today uh, and a whole bunch of other mates actually from Flyfish Australia. We're here for uh, round one of the New South Wales um, sort of fly fishing comp this weekend. It's Lake Jindabyne, lock style. Um, it's going to be interesting, I've never fished Jindabyne before. Uh, we're not allowed to film while we're out in session but I'm going to be just doing a little bit of a vlog um, for you guys before and after session uh, and my mate Jared is here. Uh, it's Jared's first comp um, so uh, he's in the position that I was a year ago not quite knowing what to expect I imagine. <laughs> yeah yeah I mean we got a bit of good practice day in at Yucabeen yesterday which definitely helps but yeah. completely different conditions today the sun's out it's calm right down so I think it'll be a different day fishing today. I think so yeah it's going to be interesting to see what uh, what works you yeah. know obviously the streamers was working uh, fairly well at Yucabeen but we had a bit more breeze and a bit more more cloud cover. Yep, and so, there's a rising fish over there actually. But yeah. So, <laughs> so the question today is going to be uh, which strategy works? Will they chase streamers, or will we have to sort of slow it right down and go to nymphs? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Be interesting to see. Yeah. Indeed. Anyway, we'll fill you guys in uh, after session one. Uh, we've just finished. Um, Session one, and uh, it was a bit of a baptism of fire, wasn't it, mate? Yeah, it, was, it was tough out there. It was, it wasn't easy fishing. Yeah. Yeah, it was very tough. We uh, we drove around quite a lot, covered a lot of water, just trying to find fish, basically. Um, and you know, we tried a range of different techniques. Uh, started on streamers and sinking lines, and uh, didn't really have any luck with that. I ended up switching over to the nymphs on a floating line, and. At the very end, with about 20 minutes to go, we found uh, one particular spot that seemed to be holding a few fish. We were getting a couple of little taps and swirls. Um, you had a couple kind of come up on the Yeah, a couple, hang. A couple touching on the hang, but um, they weren't eating confidently, I'd say. They were, uh, yeah. yeah, a bit tentative. Yeah, definitely. They definitely were. I, anyway, I managed to scrounge out one little rainbow at the end of the session with about 10 minutes to go. <laughs> which was a relief, I've got to say. Um, so a few people managed to do okay today. Uh, I think uh, Dave McCallum uh, won the session with seven fish. So um, we're trying to pick his brains and figure out what the hell he's doing. Lucky, I, <laughs> lucky I've got him next session. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll be looking forward to all the details. Tonight, yeah, that's mate. right. Yeah, I'll fill you in. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. We'll check in after this session. Alright guys, well we just finished uh, session two. Uh, that was a tough day at the office, I've got to say. Some of the guys have done pretty well. Um, you know, I think the most that people have been catching has been about six or seven fish um, each session. Uh, I managed one in the session this afternoon, so one fish this morning, one this afternoon. Um, yeah, really struggled to just sort of put together any pattern. Uh, dropped one fish this afternoon, um, but uh, yeah, I think the key has just been finding, trying to find active fish has been tricky. Um, how did you go, Jared? Uh, tough day fishing. <laughs> it was a yeah. long, tough day. Um, got one in the boat with about five minutes to spare this afternoon, which is nice. So it wasn't a double donut for me. Yep. Um, but yeah, conditions were tough and um, they were very, very um, sort of congregated in, in specific patches and yeah. had to find them. So yeah. yeah. It's sure, sure is a big relief when that first fish hits the net. Oh, the session, isn't you it? don't want to go double do not, <laughs> donut in your first competition, that's for sure. <laughs> well, I know a few of the guys who've been doing this for a while went double donuts today, so, yeah. so you wouldn't yeah. have, uh, you would have been in good company. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's the end of day one. Uh, hopefully, we'll do a little bit better tomorrow. We'll see how we go. Weather change tomorrow as well. Yeah, so it could it's bring all... different, different conditions, different, different fishing styles. So. Yeah, that's right. It'll all be different again, I reckon. Yep. Cool. All right, we'll check in then. Morning, guys. You might uh, detect that we're robed a little differently today. <laughs> uh, you can probably see on the, the mountain top in the background there, uh, there's a reasonable dump of snow overnight. We had a fair bit uh, driving over Calkite Mountain on the way here. <laughs> one of the um, one of the other blokes, Jeff, his boat has got about three or four inches of snow in it. <laughs> which is pretty interesting. He was uh, trying to find a shovel this morning to see if he could uh, get the boat prepared. That's right, I guess you don't fish in October unless you're prepared for this sort of thing. So, 
Yeah. yeah it'd be interesting to see what uh, what happens with the fishing today. They might actually uh, mm. might be a bit more aggressive and happy to chase a bit higher in the column. So, be exciting day. Yeah. Well, we've got a bit more wind on the on the water today. I'll just show you guys out there. So uh, there's uh, definitely a bit more wind today, which might get the fish uh, a little bit more active. We're hoping the rain is going to hold off. Because <laughs> that's going to be pretty unpleasant if it's this cold and raining. Yeah. But uh, I think we'll be right with that. So um, yeah, as long as our fingers don't freeze. Yep. And one thing I forgot to pack was gloves, so we might be in danger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we've tied up a few flies overnight as well. Tied a few smaller sort of um, streamers, just downsized a little bit, and uh, see if we can um, increase that conversion rate and. Uh, catch a few more of the, sc the smaller fish which are uh, still point scorers in a comp. Yep, that's what you want. <laughs> yeah, all right guys, we'll check back in after session one, let you know how we go. All right guys, well, uh, end of session three. I had a slightly better session that time. I managed to get three fish, sort of started to put together a little bit of a pattern. <laughs> um, I think the most fish caught was six. Yeah. Uh, nine. Nine. Nine? Dave. Who D got nine? Dave. Dave? Dave. Big Dave had nine. Oh, Dave Hempel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, he's yeah. a pretty good angler. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How was your session, mate? Mine was good. I, um, uh, well, didn't fish it particularly well, but the fish were there, so uh, yeah. it was encouraging on the right track, but it was tough out there with the, uh, the numbness in the fingers and the, the wind pumping like it was, but <laughs> yeah. the, uh, the good thing is there's plenty of big fish about, so... Yeah, yeah. I managed to brookie this session, which oh, was nice. Very good. Um, first brookie for the comp, which was good. Uh, and I dropped a couple of fish, which is a shame. So, you know, the scorecard could have been a little bit better, but it's the same for everybody. Yep. Everybody sort of drops fish at some point in these yep, comps, yep. and it's pretty heartbreaking when it happens. Yeah, and I had the pleasure of uh, my partner catching a pretty, would have been pretty close to an eight pound brown, so that was a. Uh, wow. That was a good fish to see in the boat. What was the length on it? Do you know? He's only 56, but he was yeah. an absolute football. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, so it was nice. good. All right, so you've got a. Uh, unfortunately, there's been a bit of bit of boat trouble, and uh, Jared's partner is um, his boat has conked out for the last session. So you've got a bank session. Yep, I sure do. So. We'll see how we go. It might be an hour of bank session and two hours of a pub session, but we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll see how we're tracking. <laughs> Maybe you should stop by the pub on the way. Yeah, that's Stock right. Up. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's a that's a pretty, pretty tough draw for the last session, unfortunately. Yeah. It limits you a lot. But work out something new and uh, yeah. maybe we might get it done and we'll see. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys, we'll check in at the end of the comp. Place, yeah, Dave McCallum. Woo! Woo! Well done, Dave. Well done. Well done. Well done. Second place, Jeffrey Naylor. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Like yeah. Third place, Dave Hempel. Yeah. Woo! Fourth place, John Fisher. Yeah. Fifth place. <laughs> Bob Bartels. Sixth place, another Scotsman. <laughs> uh, well, I'm here with uh, the two Daves, Dave McCallum, who won first place this comp, and Dave Hempel, who came in third. Um, you guys have obviously been fishing this dam for a while, right? Well, I've fished it three times in the run up to it, so yeah, and how, a little bit more than others. And how did, how did you find this comp? Was it sort of what you were expecting? No. Because it, it rose ten nine percent. Yeah, yeah. Look, we had a lot of water in the last two weeks, and it's changed everything. So yeah. it was a real lot of well done, mate. Yeah, you you fished well, and, and uh, you've uh, yeah, done really well. And it, it was tough conditions, it really was. Like yep. we had snow on the hills this morning. We had um, you know, burning sunshine yesterday. We had. Torrential rain last night, which turned into snow. You know, the wind went from nothing to gale force, and yeah. uh, so it's been a real, real test for everyone. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that the the fish that um, that were there tended to be just congregated in a couple of bays that were getting really hammered towards the end there by everybody. So it, it made it hard because the fish elsewhere seemed to be really patchy. Yeah, they were definitely patchy, and there was better spots than others, but. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the, the last two sessions, they were getting tougher and tougher. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the problem with the water rising. Uh, this dam has a lot more flat ground when it's lower and a lot more uh, fishable areas for lock style fishing. So, although it's a great dam, uh, when it's high, it's not as good as when it's low. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely noticed that. There wasn't a lot of bays that I found set up well with a nice sort of shallow um, run into the into the end of the bay, which seemed to be, seemed to be what the fish wanted. All the consistent bottoms deep under the water now. Yeah, and um, the fish are still out wide because there's a lot of food uh, with the water's covered and they don't have to come in. So, right. and like you said, they were congregated in two main places that everyone fished. Yeah. And then they got they got hammered and then they, you know. Your last session I had to search and search just for what I got. So the best angler one, well done. And um, yep. yeah, he's he done a great job. Um, and consistent because it's over four sessions, so yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You were you were getting what, six, seven fish uh, for the first three sessions, weren't you? Uh, yeah, I think I went seven, six, six, and then three in the last. Yeah. With the last one was definitely tougher for everybody, I think. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much. Um, yeah, it's been a brilliant comp, and I hope that you guys get something out of this and come along and try out comp fishing. It really is a lot of fun. Good bunch of blokes, and uh, you know you'll learn so much so quickly. So, bit of a wrap up, guys. Uh, comp's finished now. Uh, it was an interesting one. It was. Tough. I think you certainly picked a tough one for your first comp, Jared. <laughs> that is a fire, I think. <laughs> yeah, totally, yeah. totally. And you had a very unlucky uh, draw at the end there, having to pull a bank session, which was that was uh, you know it was tough being in a boat today. So I can only imagine being on the bank. The wind was savage. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think the, the difficulty as well is that the fish were very patchy. There was a couple of bays that seemed to hold fish. And outside of that, it was very difficult to find anything. So I imagine being on foot, it was just potluck, wasn't it? If you were on the fish, you were in luck, but... You weren't covering a lot of water, that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, look, it was, um, it was a great comp. I learned a great deal from this comp. I suppose my results were fairly lacklustre, but managed to catch fish in each session, which I'm, I'm glad about. But, uh, you know, didn't set the world on fire, obviously. But that's not really what comp fishing is all about to me. Um, the biggest thing for me with comp fishing is about the learning and you know every time I do one of these comps there are so many more things that I pick up. It's just such a great way to learn quickly I reckon. The curve is steep definitely. Yeah so did you have any takeaways from your first comp? Yeah I mean I, I, my first takeaway was you know I procrastinated about doing it for so long but I'd say just to people just jump in do it because yep. like the guys were super friendly and you yeah. know yeah I, you know in that session second session yesterday morning I think I'd learned more about fishing in three hours than I had in the last five years yeah and um, the other thing was like you know I fished with uh, Dave who ended up winning the comp but yep. you know super generous with his time happy to teach you know in the session you know he was still slaying and he said oh well can't let you have a donut we'll, we'll get your fish and <laughs> put me in position and you know so yeah like guys are great and yeah. willing to share knowledge and yeah I think I'm now at the stage though where I think I don't even know what I don't know about Lockstyle yet so <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a uh, there's a steep learning curve but I'm hungry to do it so it's good there is a, it, it, it is such an eye-opener isn't yeah. it yeah uh, I think one of the biggest things that I've learned from um, comp fishing so far is that you can go out on your own and fish a lake you know in a day and you might do good or you might catch nothing um, and you might walk away and say oh they just they weren't biting today or oh there's no fish here or whatever but in a comp there's no excuses because you've got all these other people that are fishing the water at the same time and it really makes you realize just how important getting the right location and getting the right technique is yeah. that the fish are there and they're catchable you just have to be doing the right thing and um, the intelligence that you can gather from 20 or 30 anglers on the water at the same time as opposed to just yourself fishing is just exponentially greater. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I couldn't agree more. You know, there's, uh, there's a lot of good anglers out there in that competition and you got the opportunity to learn from, from all of them. So, yeah, it's yeah. great. Totally. So I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Um, as Jared said, I'd really encourage you to uh, give competition fishing a go. Uh, it, it doesn't have to be about 
being competitive necessarily. Um, it can really just be a relaxed kind of friendly social thing and if you treat it as a way to get out on the water and learn and really accelerate your fly fishing, it's a fantastic thing to do. So I encourage you to do it. 100%. Cheers guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave us a comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.